Hey guys, it's Ellen here again, and today I wanted to address an issue that I've gotten a lot of comments on recently. Um, you guys are always telling me how you're having a little bit of trouble playing the guitar and singing along with it at the same time. So um, I've come up with a couple of tips that I can share with you on how you can practice that and um, slowly improve upon singing and playing your guitar at the same time. So go ahead and stay tuned if this is something you're interested in learning. So the number one piece of advice I can give you guys is don't rush into things. Don't try to just hear a song, pick up your guitar, and play it and sing it at the same time. Unless you're extremely comfortable with that kind of thing, in which case you probably shouldn't even be watching this video. This is going to be more for beginners. So rule number one is don't rush things. You're going to have to take it very slowly before you can do everything all at once because the last thing you want to do is overwhelm yourself with all this new information that you're going to be getting. So step one is to make sure that you know the song that you're trying to play and sing at the same time, like the back of your hand. You have to be able to recognize where all of the chords are changing and all of that stuff and know what the singer is singing, know how the guitar is supposed to sound and all of that. Um, you don't have to know precise details like strumming patterns and things like that, but you do have to kind of be familiar with the song to the point where you don't really have to um, concentrate on what part the singer is singing and things like that. It should come pretty naturally to you and if you're picking a song that's one of your favorites that shouldn't be too hard, you probably already have it memorized. But if you don't have it memorized, go ahead and pick your song of choice and listen to it like a million times. You don't have to listen to it that many times. But um, listen to it to the point where you're really comfortable with how it sounds and you kind of know how everything fits in together within the song. So um, for the purposes of this tutorial and to avoid any copyright issues, I'm going to go ahead and take you through this process using a song that I wrote myself called Best Seller. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take my own advice and I'm going to listen to the song. And while I'm listening, I'm going to have fun and sing along with it and maybe dance a little bit. But I'm also going to be paying attention to what I'm hearing and remembering how the guitar sounds and the singer and everything all together. So I'm going to go ahead and listen to my song. So right from the start, I'm already getting a lot of information, like the beat, kind of the mood of the song, the setting. I know the rhythm. I can hear right here the guitar is kind of muted. Right here for the chorus, it gets a little louder. I'm listening for how the singing mixes in with the guitar. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, because I did write this song myself, I am very familiar with it, but I was just showing you guys things that you can catch just from listening to your song and paying a little bit more attention than you normally would if you're just singing along with it in your car or something like that. So um, once you've listened to your song and you know pretty much how it goes, then go ahead and move on to step two. So for step two, what you're going to want to do is you're going to pull up your guitar chords with the song that you're trying to sing. So an easy way to do that is just to go to google.com and look up you know, the title of your song with the artist and then type in guitar chords. And you'll probably get a million results of all the chords that you'll be needing. So go ahead and pull up the chords. And what I want you to do now, just familiarize yourself with those chords. If you don't know how to play them, go ahead and look them up until you have them memorized. And make sure when you're looking up the chords to the song to try to find those websites where it'll give you the lyrics below the chord changes. That way you kind of know where you're going to be changing to prepare yourself for future steps. So I have my lyrics um, pulled up on my computer and I have my chords above my lyrics and all I'm going to do is go through and just kind of play them. So I have D and then I have G, B minor, A. So what I've just done is I've played through the entire first verse and I was just playing all the chords just to make sure that I know them and that I can transition between one and the other. Um, go ahead and do that for the entire song that you're going to want to play and when you've done that a couple of times and you're extremely comfortable with um, transitioning between the chords, we're going to move on to step three. 
So for step three, what you're going to want to do is now you're going to pull up the song that you want to play again and also have the lyrics with the chords in front of you. So if you need to print that out or if you want to open two different windows and put them side by side, that's totally fine. But what we're going to do now is we're going to listen to the song again and we're going to try our best to play the chords along with the song. Don't try to sing yet. We're going to play along with the recording so that the artist will be singing. And all you have to focus on is the guitar for right now. So remember to keep it very simple. Only play each chord one time between transitions. You don't want to go and try to follow the pattern that you might be hearing in the song because that's just a little bit too advanced for where we are right now. So go through the song, let the recording play, let the artist sing, and you concentrate on your guitar and playing each of those chords only one time between transitions. So I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of what I mean for step three. I'm going to go ahead and play this song while also looking at my lyrics and chord transitions and I'm just going to play the chords one time. As you can see, all I was doing was concentrating solely on the guitar and only playing the chords that I had pulled up one time while listening to the original recording and the original artist sing it. So don't even worry about singing. So the main focus of this step is to help you realize where you need to be switching your chords, um, like on what words that they're singing or on what beats that the original artist is singing on. That way you know if it's like on an off beat or if there's like a little place where the rhythm changes, things like that, just to um, more familiarize yourself with the song. You should not only know the chords that you need to play, but you should also now know where those transitions take place, like where you're going to switch from D to G or whatever chords you're playing. And um, you should probably practice that just a couple of times to make sure that your transitions and your fingerings and everything is all perfectly fine and you're very comfortable with it. And if you feel like you're ready to move on, then we'll go on to step four. Alright, so step four is where we're going to step it up a notch with our guitar playing. We're going to do the exact same thing we just did, except this time instead of playing each chord once, you're just going to do a simple on the beat rhythm. So one, two, three, four, one te, two te, whatever you can handle, just um, along with the song. And you can try to imitate what the song sounds like. So I'm going to show you guys an example of what I mean with my song one more time. And this time, instead of playing each chord only one time, I'm going to do a simple strumming pattern that I know I can handle while listening to the original recording. step four right after step three. It shouldn't be that much harder because what we're trying to do is we're trying to build up your guitar hand now. You're trying to make the guitar a little bit more complex but you're only doing it one step at a time so you don't overwhelm yourself. Some additional tips I have for you that you may not want to follow but it was very helpful for me when I first started playing guitar was um, I had a little tape recorder and I would record myself playing the guitar alone and then I would play it back and sing along with it or um, vice versa, you could record yourself singing it and then play it back and play your guitar along with your singing. That way you kind of develop both aspects of it um, at different times. That way when you add it together, it'll be a lot more cohesive and it'll help you, help you make that transition a little bit more easily, in my opinion. But yeah, the main purpose of steps three and four is just to familiarize yourself with the guitar part alone because um, I really think that the best way to sing and play a song at the same time is just to know how to play the song without really thinking about it too much. It's almost like second nature. You're going to be doing those chord transitions and everything um, without really thinking so that you can use your brain to focus on the singing aspect of it and the lyrics and all of that stuff. So keep on practicing your simple strumming pattern along with the original recording and um, as you practice it maybe two or three times, each time you practice it, try to add a little bit more into your strumming and it could just be like in one place you want to add a little bit more or if you need to go back to step one and listen to just one part of the song you're trying to learn really listen for how the guitar sounds what the beat is what the strumming is and things like that um, you should be able to hear a little bit of a strumming pattern and if not it's always okay to go with one that you think sounds similar to it and eventually after you play it probably like 10 to 15 times adding a little bit in each time that you play it eventually you 
should be able to play the guitar part no problem along with the recording and have it sound pretty similar to the actual recording itself. So after practicing your song about 10 to 15 times, you should be able to play the guitar part no problem, not really thinking about it too hard along with the recording at tempo with all of your strumming and everything together. Pause this video and play along with the song that you want to learn right now and um, remember to take it very slowly and to only add in what you can handle one step at a time and then I'll see you guys once you've practiced your songs a couple dozen times and then uh, we can move on to step five together. If you can successfully play your guitar along with the recording and you really have no problems with transitions or anything like that and you've gotten a pretty good rhythm down that sounds like the original or however you want your version to be, then we'll go ahead and move on to step five which is now going to be singing along with an instrumental part. And now I'm just going to play the original recording and try singing along with it, along with the artist. This should be pretty fun. It's just going to be developing the other half because the guitar is very important, but you need to be able to sing along in rhythm and stuff like that too. Usually this part will come a little bit easier than the guitar part because it's a little less thinking involved. So um, just to make sure you can do it, go ahead and play through the song one time and just sing along with it. Have some fun with it. Okay, congratulations! If you've made it this far into the tutorial, all you have to do for step six, the final step, is to add everything together. So now you should be pretty comfortable with singing the song. You should also be pretty comfortable with playing it. All you have to do now is put the two together and try your best to concentrate on whichever one you need a little bit more concentration for. And um, that's all you can hope for. Hopefully you guys will be able to play and sing at the same time. If you need to, you should probably go ahead and turn the recording off for a while and start out a little bit maybe below tempo if it's a fast song you're trying to learn and pull up the lyrics again, pull up the guitar chords and just play through it by yourself. So for instance, my song is pretty fast to begin with so I'm just going to slow it down and concentrate on guitar and singing at the same time. She had the world in her hands Like a baby She was still a bit naive And she let her first love sleep her off her feet If that was a little bit difficult for you to do To put the guitar and singing together at the same time Go ahead and go back a couple of steps And repeat steps 3, 4, and 5 Until you have it completely comfortable And you know exactly what you're going to be doing and um, again, I want to reiterate that you need to probably turn off the recording if it's a fast song and play at your own pace because if you try to keep up with the original recording while also concentrating on everything that you just learned, it'll probably be a little bit too much for you to handle. So, so go ahead and just do it by yourself and then slowly speed it up until you think you can play along with the recording. And then um, when you're finally ready and you think you can handle it, go ahead and turn on the recording and pick up your guitar and get your vocal cords ready and what you're going to do is sing and play the guitar along at the same time with the original artist. Once you can do that, then you have no problem playing and singing at the same time. Now you'll be able to turn off the recording and um, play it on your own and perform it for lots of people and it should be a lot easier now than if you were trying to put everything together all at once at the beginning. Um, so anyways, that concludes this uh, little quick tip session. I hope that I was able to help even if it was just a little piece of advice that you maybe didn't think of before or something like that. Um, so yeah, I hope that this helps. Make sure you subscribe for more TMTs and how-to tutorials on how to play guitar and things like that. And um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks again so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!